Hi and welcome to this video. So I have a new favorite plugin and this would be Enrage by Boom. It actually has been released today and I already love it. And if you want to know more about this, you can check out the video description below and check out their website. Also, there is a chance to grab a free copy, but how to do this, stay tuned and watch this video. So to be honest, this thing is crazily complex and I still have a lot to learn, but let's take a look and let me explain you why I love this thing so much already. So let me give you a quick look. Over here, you have a control section and a mod sources section. Down below, you have a devices section and a little matrix. In this matrix, you can drag and drop these devices like gain, delay, distortion, dynamics. And then you can basically control all of these devices with the upper section here. Last but not least, you have a complete macro section over here where you can control or even automate all of these buttons and faders and whatever you applied on there. So let's hop through a few of these presets over here and then I can explain what is going on exactly. But just be warned, it's just the tip of the iceberg. And no, I'm not involved in the sales. I'm just absolutely hyped. Okay, first example, we have a little drum line going here and I bypassed Enrage for now. Let's listen to how this sounds. Now I'm applying a very simple effect, which is basically just a simple eighth note gator. And it sounds like this. So let's talk a little bit about what is going on. Basically the first module is a stereo in signal and then it is going into a gator. And on top you see that little LFO going. Also you can see that it's set to eighth notes and that there is this little blinking green thingy going on here. So this already happened, but you can basically grab this and drag it down to this section here in order to connect both of these. Then you can adjust the level of how much this effect is working and then it all leads into a stereo out. Last but not least, you see that there's also like this little pink one here. So it already has been done, but what it means is that you can drag this little thing here over here and then this macro over here controls the gate intensity. You can also rename everything you want, your macro or the user label for this effect. Okay, so let's get a tiny little bit more sophisticated here. Okay, next up is a little synth line. Let me play it with bypassed Enrage. Sweet. Now let's turn Enrage on with a preset that is called the Shredder. So that sounds pretty awesome. So let's see what's going on. We have a stereo in module here, and then it goes into that octaver, which is basically a pitch shifter, but named octaver. And the signal will be pitched minus 12 semitones. And also you can see that there is this little pink two here. So this has been assigned to macro spot number two. So basically you can control the dry wet ratio of the octaver. Next in line is a little wave shaper that sounds like this. Then this entire chain goes into a distortion module that sounds like this. Next in line, we have a multi-filter and there are two things happening. First thing, the drive can be controlled by macro one and the cutoff can be controlled by macro three. Also keep in mind that the dry wet ratio of the wave shaper has also been assigned to macro spot number one. So let's fool around a little bit what you can do with that. Also keep in mind that you can set the ratio by holding this little thing here and then move it up and down and see how far you can control it. This would sound like this. Right next after the multi-filter, you have a parametric EQ and the gain has also been assigned to macro spot number three. So while we were using this macro, it also controls the frequency as shown below. Also as a little reminder, every knob can be read, write automated. Okay, time for something entirely different, a tad more sophisticated. So next up I loaded a Nucleus Staccato String Patch and it sounds like this. <music> and 
And again, I'm using another preset here. It's called Air Exciter, and this is how it sounds. What you can see is that the stereo in has been dragged to two of these slots. You can also expand it and drop it on the third or in the fourth slot. So what is going on with this? The next module we are using here is split frequency. So basically everything what is below 4,500 Hertz is going in here. Everything that's over 4,500 Hertz is going into this chain. This one is basically a simple gain plugin. It has been called through because it does nothing. And everything above 4,500 Hertz is going in into this chain. And this chain consists of a wave shaper here that has been called harmonics, then modulation, which is basically a flanger that shifts the frequency in this range. And you can see the little green one here. So this is basically the LFO that is automating this frequency area here. Also keep in mind that there is this pink two. It means this has been assigned to slot number two. So you can change the dry wet modulation of that frequency. Next in line, we have a little bit of reverb going on, but please keep in mind this just happens to everything above 4,500 hertz. So next in line is a little bit complicated and I hope I explained that right. But basically the next thing is you have a dynamic control, which is a tap source. So you can see this something like an auxiliary channel. So you can see the above module has been set to input tap in one. And what this means in combination with the dynamic control, it basically taps down just in case something goes over zero dB to tame the exciter effect a little bit. Okay, so last but not least, let's jump through a few more of these presets because this thing can do so much more. So I've loaded this preset one up transformers and let me play you back that little drum line again. And let's see what happens when I move that one up. So I hope I was able to give you a little bit of insight on what is possible with Enrage. And this video could actually go on for hours that covers everything what you can do with it. But rest assured, I will use Enrage a lot in upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching this. Wait, I forgot something. Right, so as I mentioned in the beginning, you can win a free copy of Enrage. And how to do this? Tomorrow, Wednesday, 31st of March. Make sure to show up on my Twitch live stream. Time of the live stream will be announced on Twitter and my Discord channel. And to win Enrage, you have to enjoy a round of Battle Royale against everyone else in the channel. So make sure to be there. And as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. See you in my next video and bye.